opens the knife, locks it. Hello everyone, my name's Adam and welcome to another episode from McCluey Amateurs. Today you join me in my garage or my little workshop, my man cave, whatever you like to call it. Um, I'm going to do a couple of simple little mods on a number 7 open on knife. So, because it's a mod video, I'm not going to go too much into the detail of the knife. The mods we're going to be doing are there to make the knife slightly easier to use, because when it gets a bit damp, because it's wood, or it's got a wooden handle, the wood swells and it can be hard to open the knife up. And we're also going to do a little modification to make it a bit more ergonomic in your hand, a bit easier to grip. Let's get into it. I've laid out a selection of tools here that I think um, sort of cover everything we're going to need. Obviously the knife itself to be able to perform the modifications. Uh, a small or a pair of small pin punches. You don't necessarily need to use pin punches, you can use a small screwdriver or a nail if you don't have any of them. Um, a small flat braid screwdriver and a slightly larger one. Uh, and that's just to get the clip off the knife. A pin hammer. Again, it's not a huge hammer. You shouldn't need much force to knock the pin out. A pair of side cutters. You can use um, long nose pliers if you need to. That's just to grip the pin and pull it out if if you know if it doesn't come cleanly out when you knock it. And some fine wet and dry paper for actually performing the modification. Another little tip here. Um, I'm using an ice hockey puck or a, a version of an ice hockey puck with a groove cut out of it. Now this is normally used to jack cars up to protect the seal. Um, but I'm actually going to use it today as a place to rest the knife. So if I'm trying to knock a pin out, you can rest the knife through, obviously put the pin punch through like that, and just drive the pin out with a gap for the pin to come out underneath. Protects the knife and protects your workbench. And because it's rubber, it shouldn't slip around so much. So I think that pretty much covers the tools we're going to need. Right, let's get on with it. Obviously here's the knife, open on number 7. Don't know how well you can see that, hopefully you can see it's got it stamped on the end there. Um, so the plan basically is to pull this top cover off and knock the pin out to allow us to move the blade. So we're going to start doing that first. We're going to get a flat blade screwdriver. If you pull up on the hat or the top cap, it should give you enough of a gap between the top cap and the handle to allow you just to push that off. Once you slightly move that, you should be able to pull it off, put that aside, and that, I don't know how well you can see this, reveals the pin that holds the blade into the handle. So we get on to knocking that out. Okay, so we've got the smaller of the two pin punches, um, we're just going to try and drive that pin out now. Pins come out the other side, pull that out, store that safely somewhere else, don't want to lose that. Take the pin punch away. That now gives you the opportunity to remove, he says, oh, the top metal cover. Put that next to the top cap and the pin. And now the blade as well should be able to slide out like so. Put them pieces there so they don't get lost. Now, the main trouble I personally have with the openers is that when they get slightly damp, because they have a wooden handle, actually opening the blade up can be quite difficult sometimes. So, what I've seen a few people do is actually just gently remove some material inside the handle with some wet and dry paper. Um, gives you a slightly more clearance and just allows for that blade to move slightly freer. So we'll cut the wet and dry and uh, make a start on that. Okay, so we cut the wet and dry to size. I'm literally just going to sand out the groove that the blade sits in the handle. It won't take much. Gentle pressure, it's only a fine wood. 
and then last of all the groove or the hinge point as well just gently again it won't take a lot and then test your blade see how that feels that feels much better already so the next step or the last mod that I personally want to do is take away some material from the handle here um, I don't know if you've ever experienced it but when you have cold fingers obviously you lose a bit of dexterity and it's slightly more difficult if I show you to grip just this small portion of the blade so what we're going to do is take away some of that part of the handle now obviously it's going to remove the finish of the knife but it's only a light clear coat anyway it's not a you know a, a hard wearing finish on there so it's not a big deal you can refinish the knife afterwards exactly how you want it anyway now it will take quite a bit of sanding to get exactly where you want to be so I'm just going to carry on sanding until we get to that point so um, I've sanded it out now um, I don't know how well you can see this half moon shape I've removed from both sides of the handle um, which now gives you a much better grip if I show you for example if that was the blade away got a much clearer way of grabbing the blade now much easier and it's nowhere near as stiff as it would be if it was like a new one from the factory so obviously at this stage you would go away put whatever finish you would like on the handle um, I've slightly taken off the open hill logo um, it's not a big deal for me it's still on the, the top collar there um, still says what it is so personally I would probably oil this rather than varnish it some people uh, use clear varnish but if you're not very careful you could put too much of a thick coat of varnish on the um, handle and then that would hamper the work you've just done basically you'd be putting the thickness back into it and making the blade tight again so what I'm going to do first for the purpose of the video I'm not going to finish it today because um, we wouldn't have time but I'm going to use oil on this so I'll see the top colour goes on, align the holes, then the blade, also aligning the holes. Now I've made a new pin, it's slightly thicker than the old one because once you knock the old pin out it might be slightly loose in there. Um, I don't know, obviously I haven't done this before but that's the theory I'm working on. So I've made it out of an aluminium rivet, it's the pin off of a rivet, um, just sort of handed the end over, burnt the end over, um, so it's essentially like a rivet, line it all up, once you're happy that you're in line with the blade, which I think we are. Use your pin hammer again and just drive it home. Now it doesn't have to be fully flush um, because the idea is the groove in the top cap I don't know if you can see that is actually there to revolve around that it keeps it in, right, in the right alignment and stops the top hat coming completely off okay so as you've just seen we've knocked the pin in now it's all the way through um, we're now ready to put the top cap on or the locking ring um, it's quite a, a fiddly job to do this especially on camera like this but I'm going to give it a good try so the ring the top locking ring has this groove in it that allows you to slide it so far down push it on until you hit the top of the blade now 
the only real way I've sort of seen to do this is a bit awkward. Okay, so you're going to need a slightly larger flat bladed screwdriver than you used earlier. The best thing I can suggest is to hold the handle like that. Put your finger, index finger on the top. Now mind your fingers when you're doing this. And leave it against the handle, just like that. <laughs> um, yeah, you definitely want to mind your fingers when you're doing that. It's, I can see, well, I'm surprised that people haven't injured themselves before. Um, but that's it, top cap's now on. I'll see it opens the knife, locks it, close it, locks it again. So all I've got left now is to finish this off. Um, I've heard stories about people using clean engine oil to actually finish knives. Obviously the oil gets absorbed into the wood um, and gives it quite a dark look. So I might try that. I might even do a separate finishing video um, just on this particular knife um, I don't know we'll see how we go okay guys thanks for watching another video don't forget to hit that subscribe button and uh, get all the latest updates on our latest videos thanks again see you soon